Okay, so I don't know why I messed up or whatever, so this is going to have to be like a piece together thing, which I don't like at all, actually, because it looks like I'm editing it, and I'm not. Um, so, to that effect, um, I thought I was going to get a handcuffs put on me, um, which I didn't, thank goodness, because it would have really upset me, and I would probably would have got really bitchy. Um, and then another cop showed up and said, what the fuck am I doing back here again? Um... And I'm paraphrasing this, of course, um, because I can't quote it verbatim. So he's like, what the fuck am I doing here? We're always back here. What are you doing here? What are you doing? I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, look, I'm like, I'm a little boy. And he's like, that's no excuse type of a deal. You know, we've been out here a million times and you're not, you're still here. I don't understand why you're still here. And I'm like, I should have said, because I paid the rent. And everything, I haven't paid the rent for the last two months, but I paid the rent for 24 months, so why are you yelling at me? Why are you yelling at me when I'm the one that is actually the one that usually gets hurt, get you blasphemized? And then, also, the one that always sits on the porch waiting for you guys, because I'm the one that's responsible for being a integrity and honest person when he calls. If I was really an assaulty or assaulter, or not assaulty, sorry, assaulter to him, or if I was the one actually causing the problem and wanted to run away from myself and my emotion and my addiction, I would have ran already a long time ago. And I did that initially uh, from PCL. I ran from my emotion. I checked out and ran home. So that doesn't make any sense and doesn't make any of me a bad man. No, it don't, it doesn't, and it can't. It's what I do is good. That's the thing. So I proceeded to go back up on the porch. They said, sit down, and he's like, would you put out your cigarette? Because it was in the dash tray from earlier. So I put out my fucking cigarette, and I'm sitting there, and everything. And so I love it when the thing goes, because that's really annoying. Because it's like, shut the fuck up, I'm on this song. So, again, um, I do have things going on in my head that are a lot bigger than others. Um, but that's my narration of my story. They're trying to interrupt my prelude, my prologue, to the other. And that's what really pisses me off. Um, but back to my story. Um, so I was sitting there, and... and um, the cops talking to me and everything. He's like, well, you know, I show sure we came out here for, you know, um, and this is before when he first got up. Um, we came out here because there was a assault claim and everything. I'm like, no. I'm like, I was being boisterous. Well, w w w what happened? I'm like, well, this happened. And so really, the key of this story is because I'm getting really pissed off right now. Is that I should have stood up for myself a little harder. I should have put my foot down a little more. Because I was sober. And I hadn't used. And the reason why I said Friday night or Saturday morning. Um, to them I said Friday or Saturday. Was that I couldn't really remember the day, exact time. And I thought it was earlier in the day on Saturday. But then I remembered it was 3.30pm. Or 1.30pm. On Saturday afternoon. And so, you know what? To that fact, I don't even really think I did use that day. Because I didn't really, you know, it was water stuff. It could have been something else. I don't know. And so that really pisses me off. You know, that I would, I would do that to myself once again. So it really pisses me off when other things go downhill and you can't, what? Control it to that fact. So I'm, I'm talking in circles. So the cop came back out. The uh, paramedics got up there, started giving her all my questions or all the answers. I knew about everything. Not into the woobly woos though. Um, but she's like, so what drugs were you on? Or what drug are you on? Do you do any drugs? And I'm like, yeah, methamphetamine. And she's like, are you using drugs? What are you on? I'm like, I'm not on drugs. Your eyes are pinpoint, what are you on? I'm like, nothing. She's like, 
no, what are you on, seriously? I'm like, nothing. And then she's like, mm. And then she's like, well, well, you, you know, and then the other guy comes up and does my blood pressure or whatever, and I have this fast backwards um, or interjection or da 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 da. So that's why I'm telling you this because it's like, uh, to this point, I might actually go after them for a lawsuit because of the fact of I'm a meth addict, but I'm not using. So why are you treating me different for these, for that, for all of that? Because of the fact, why? Because I'm an addict and you shouldn't be treating me this way because you are a care person giver, paramedic. You're a protector, policeman. You're a fire department official, protector. You all are servants of the community, which we pay through our taxes. So why aren't you being given that? I don't know. You know, that generosity of, of a sober person um, when they're acting that way. And so why hasn't he? Because he hasn't admitted to things, maybe. I don't know. So what really pisses me off when, that, when, it, when she started saying, so are you going to come to the hospital? We, I'm like, no, I'm not going to go to the fucking hospital. She's like, well, you're going to have to come because, like, why don't you just, because you, um, <laughs> because you need to go look at your arm because I had an abscess and the reason I had an abscess was because I didn't go to the hospital because I haven't, I didn't, you know, I don't, I'm pretty sure I have no, um, health insurance and everything. I haven't gone on top of that in which I don't go to the hospital because I thought I would have to have a huge fucking bill for that. And I would have to pay it off later. And I don't want to claim bankruptcy. Period. And so what does this cause you? Pain. Because I didn't get to top on my insurance. And so I told her, I don't want an expensive ride to the hospital because of something he called you for. It's a waste of your guys' time to be here because I was going to go out 1.30 anyways. You know, Michael, Michael actually came this, this morning because um, Scotty um, called him and everything. Came over, took his time out of his day, and actually did that for me. That was really nice of him. He was gonna go drop me off at the hospital, but he had to go to work. And I'm like, do you mind coming back after work? Because I know, you know you'll probably get off early or whatever, and, and 1.30, and so 1.30 was only two hours away. And so I was like sitting there and everything like that, um, and telling her, I'm going out 1.30. And she's like, well, what if he doesn't come? What if it doesn't happen? What if one moment? I'm like, okay, then I could get on a bus. What if you don't get on a bus? I'm like, I will get on a bus. It's pretty important. It's pretty bad. And she's like, what if you don't get on a bus? I'm like, what if he doesn't come? I'm like, he will. He always comes. He always comes. So what does that mean? And then she's like, well, you're going to have to sign this little piece of paper. You um, went against medical advice. I'm like, okay. And so the other cop... The one that I don't like for some reason that I've always talked about came out and said, he started talking, he's like, well, you're going to have to go to the hospital because this is what you're going to do and this and this and this and this and you're going to go with a ride with her overhearing what she said, probably, most likely. And, and I'm like, no, I'm not. He's like, what did you say, boy? Or what did you say? And I'm like, no. He's like, L you listen to me here. And then I'm like, no, I'm not going. And he's like, well, you know what? You're going to have to go to jail. You're going to have to go to jail or to the hospital. And the other cop comes out and he's like, well, you know what? We should be, we're back here again over a domestic thing. So you both should be going to jail. You both should be going to jail. So what is it going to be? Jail or the hospital? I'm like, neither. <laughs> and he's like, neither? Really? Then you're going to jail. I'm like, really? I'm like, then I'll fucking go to the hospital if you're going to be like that. And I didn't say fucking. I might have. I don't know. He would have a camera on his shirt. So. So it was all recorded anyways. So, by that. 
I, I did get handcuffed, which was lovely, which was really nice of them not doing. It was really weird <laughs> because usually they handcuff me. Um, and so I got in there and I started telling her that blah, blah, blah. I don't understand this because I'm actually doing a uh, foundation. And I started explaining that, but it was sounding really retarded and to me because it, I can feel when people aren't listening and that's what really hurts. Um, so that's when I get pissy. It's because I shouldn't been in there. I know my fucking jaja is really hurting and it really works. Um, for the hurts. So I was going to go to the hospital. There was no reason for an ambulance. I was coerced in going. I was falsified as a person. And I was given no rights as a person to make my own decision. So... I went to the hospital, they did all the things to me, took samples, whatever. And um, I asked her, I asked the doctor, I'm like, the reason I didn't really come is because I thought it was um, something else. I thought it was, you know, maybe a pathogen or something in my skin. And I didn't want to come and infect people. And I know that's, that's not going to be the case. But I was giving her an opportunity to actually test it for other things, just in case. That's what we should do as people, talk about things, because that's what my company is based on, woo woo, so I'm getting really angry. Woo woo is change thought, revolutionize action. And so I was trying to give her an idea, which says, you know what, maybe we should test this for other things, because you never know. And so by that, if it is, I hope not, but if it is, we could have got it early, or something like that. But by that, also as well as, the night before I actually did was a um, was a really weird thing was I put a bottle. It's not weird because it's just science. Science, 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 the magic of science. Um, is I put the bottle, uh, I got a glass bottle, which is the vinegar bottle, and I put it upside down on top of it, um, lit a candle, put it in there, and then took the candle out and then put it on my skin, which pulls out the infection um, and then I um, proceeded to, and then I'm like, fuck it, I'll just, whatever, I don't want to do this anymore, it hurts too much. And so I did that, and I put it down, um, and then um, hours later, I did, uh, well, the next day or today, I actually um, was trying to do it again and pull it out, which it kind of came out, um, but then I also did, I cut it and put all, a lot of the function in the thing, and when I told them this, at the, um, when the cops had come and I told them, well, I put the infection in, in the uh, mason jar and then I put, um, and then I, um, put parchment paper on top of it with a, with a, um, lid on it to seal it and everything. And they looked at me like it was a retard, you know, and it really pissed me off because like most, most meth addicts or I should say people are, that are on, that are using meth don't do that. Don't think of those things. And that's what really pissed me off. I wasn't using it as a camouflage to mask my using. No. It was my concern for my infection. So if I was concerned, not concerned about my infection, what the hell did I do that for? Because most people who are concerned or not concerned, or no, I mean, most people who are not concerned about their health or other people or have sympathy or have empathy or have anything like that that are narcissistic and only self-loving or self-loathing, whatever. I'm getting confused in my fucking head because I'm so fucking pissed off about it. Um, don't do that shit and know how to do it. So, so it was more fervent to me, I guess, self-me. So I did that. I um, sucked it out and everything, but then I told him about that. I told the doctor at the hospital that, that I forgot it in my fucking bag and I'm pissed off. And she's like, well, it's probably nothing, blah, blah, blah. And so I'm like, and she's like, well, you probably have to stay overnight or something. And I'm like, no. And she's like, well, I said no. And then she walked away. I think she got a little pissy because I was being probably a little <sighs> bleh to them. And so I, um, when she came back in and said, uh, she said, well, I think you're going to have to actually stay a couple days. 
I'm like, now it's days? She's like, yeah. And so I'm like, um, and so I was telling her, I'm like, the reason why I didn't stay is not for me. It's because of the fact I don't know what's going to go home on at home. I'm scared he might have another seizure. I'm scared that something will happen. I'm scared the house is going to burn down. I left lights on downstairs. I'm scared something's going to happen. And that's why I'm going home. And I started crying and bawling. And then she, she looked at me and she, she said, oh, okay. So she said, well, you're going to have to sign a paper that gives you um, uh, AMA um, against medical advice. And so I did that um, later on, but it took freaking forever. Um, I did an uh, antibiotic, um, Vico, 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 um, and then I, I, I always thought it was, um, um, it was a Vico, Vanco, Vanco, um, and I thought it was Banco or something like, um, Roma, um, like Bacitracin, ba type of a deal, and it was um, Vanco, and so I thought it was a B. Um, so by that, they gave me a bag of that. Also the NACL, um, which is sodium chloride for saline. Um, sorry. Yeah. Um, and so by that, they let me go. Um, I came home and I actually laid down and went to sleep, got up and I actually started doing my sealing technique on the, on the thing, which is kind of weird. Um, first I actually did this and said, the reason why I did the sealing thing is on the, the vinegar bar, the vinegar bottle, um, I put um, peroxide in it with also um, the bleach in it to kill it if it was. And then I'm like, fuck. I'm like, why well, if the peroxide makes the spore because I thought it would make come sporish. Maybe it will become airborne now because I made it a pathogen airborne from making peroxide, turning it into a gas agent, which would make it go And so like, when I was thinking of that, I um, ran up, I actually stuffed some, some Kleenex in it, which was funny because I had some of my blood on it from previous. Um, so I did that. I'm like, oh my gosh, I has blood on it. I'm gonna be stuck in the bottle or be dead type of a deal. But then I took that from another thing and I'm like, I, I get the, um, the, that I get um, go get some candle wax because you can seal it with candle wax so I put the candle wax inside of it and so by that I put the candle wax and then a little um, brown thingy with a hole in it put that in there and then I put um, a rock on top of that and then sealed it so I, I was just making layers of it to we could both analyze the pathogen itself, it does create spores. If it does create spores, the metal, if it can go through metallic surfaces. And then also, f ultimately, if it's a rock, it can go through concrete surfaces. So it's going, if it develops on top, it could actually be a pathogen that is permeable to all forms of um, material, chemical makeups. And so I'm really hoping it's not that. Um, so I, and then I thought, oh my God, my DNA, DNA is on the napkin, which also gives off life, which is cells. And so if it becomes spore-like, then it will develop more on that blood. And then it'll go and puff up and go black, like a fuzzy black. And so, um, so just waiting to see what that does. Um, so I'm hoping it doesn't do anything. Um, because if it does become a spore, then it's definitely something that's going to be and I don't want that to happen um, just for the fact um, I had a premonition about a month ago um, that around the 24th, 26th anyways, that the fever of all fevers will hit the earth and sick will become the world and so um, and that's in two days And yesterday I said three. So it really like hurts. Why I'm saying all of this is because it's coming close and I'm getting really tired of um, people telling me, blah, 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 blah. you know, because it's really irritating me that um, 
the people aren't listening to me. And the ghost clues are telling me these things and I'm not picking up on it to go really fervent about it. Um, so, I know this is going to create hysteria, but no, it's not. Because you can believe whatever you want to believe if you're thinking about mass hysteria. And I'm getting this from the, the voice that's talking into my right ear and it's really pissing me off. Um, if this is really going to be mass hysteria, you better look at something like the Ku Klux Klan or some other organization, like Anonymous. Because seriously, I'm not Anonymous. I'm not Ku Klux Klan. I'm not anything bad. I'm a good person. So that's really pissing me off right there. Or the... <laughs> of the fucktards. So, um... This is so raw. It's so crazy. It's so great. Because what are they going to do? They're going to come after me and probably blow off my head. Oh, well. So, um... <laughs> so, by this, um... Also, to that fact of... Um... <laughs> That is so beautiful. Um, to that fact, no, because I just thought, thought of something. My amendments and my integrity and my honesty is so fervent. You better watch out if that does happen because I'm not the only one you should worry about. You should worry about his almighty, the high and king of the kings. So you better watch out. You better not cry when he comes after you or doesn't let you in the pearly gates. Or into the gates of wherever you want to be. Or the green meadows of, of, of uh, mulberry fields that the Beatles sing upon. Because the Beatles are great in their music. And they give us back the land. Because it is the land of forest time. If you really think about it. So I need to quit with the riddles. Because they're really pissing me off right now. Because I'm going back into the <clears throat> of time. And I don't like that. Um, eh. Sorry, I have a niche. So. Um. I'm really scared, but if it does become a spore, then it might, it might not. I hope not. It hope it doesn't do any of that. Um, also to that fact of, um, I'm going to contact one of my friends that it works at the university, Colorado University, and ask if we can do a, a little project side note, um, as well as test it, because I probably could cr not create a, a CDC event. And when I say CDC event, that's, Center for Disease and Control Substance, oh, I think, something like that. Center of Disease, right? I don't know. I actually don't know. Let me see. Uh, it doesn't matter. Ooh, it's really sad. So, um, no, I was just thinking of um, zombies because. In all reality, the the if you become more, we're already in zombie day if you really think about it, Z day, because there's a lot of people that don't know how to control their communication, um, or emotion as proper as they want, whoever they's are, or yous are, that the others are zombies, and and he's trying to make everybody wake back up. Because they're being zombies and not communicating and opening up communication and that becomes a zombie. Not the dead will rise again. It might not be that. It might be that. Whatever. Because guess why? Because in all reality, if you're just in your phone, if you have no emotion, if you just keep watch the world go by, so to speak, you're going to become a zombie. A zombie to them. A lemming to them just to walk off the cliff. Because guess wh why? I see it, guess why? A lot. Because that's what we, we're bred to be. Is that? To conform. And I'm not a conformist. I'm, I don't conform to that ideal. I'm a great person. And that's all we need to see is greatness. So, by this, please communicate. Please be a part of my table at the dinner table. And if you want to come to family game night with me, without cell phones or any communication or any TVs, that means be present, then definitely do. I would love you there because I need feedback on what I'm saying. And what I'm saying is click like if you like this video. And if you don't, click dislike. And if you have something to say, just say it under the feedback on the bar that says 
um, feedback or wherever it says on YouTube. I can't remember. It's right under the video because you can do that. It's easy. And I will always be here, not in my basement, but in the world. But however, if things like wobbly woos or ham take me down, they might be in prison and I'll be gone for a long, very long time because of something they said or did. It won't ever be me because I'm a man of my integrity and honesty and I'll always be that. Um, honest, an integrist, and a caring, compassionate person. So, by this, I leave with you. Thank you for watching. In Denver, Colorado, hopefully around the world soon. Nationally, always known. <laughs> well, hopefully soon too. Um, <laughs> so, Oprah, or any major company out there, that wants to hear a little bit of uh, talky see about me, like talk soup. Um, good morning, New York, or anything like that, or good morning, LA, or Denver, Channel 9 News, or something like that. Please, 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 please give me a call um, because I want to really, and I can't stop talking, and it's crazy. It's, it's a good crazy. Like, as I said, I'm crazy in love, I'm crazy at being good, and I'm crazy about people. So, always see the C's, the triple C's, crazy, crazy, crazy. Just don't look at the bad crazy, because it might turn you into a bad, crazy person. And I never want to be that. So, that's why I'd look at the good crazy and things, good C's, not the others. So, by that, it is... Goodbye for now, but guys, I'll see you soon, and let's try to sell it. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, have a great day. You guys take care, and I'll talk to you later. Okay, right back at you, shall I? Oh, look, it's a snowflake. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye.